just basically the result of a realization as we were coming back to Wyoming that we've got some pretty rad rides out here and there's not a lot of rides through Wyoming. So it's just kind of about bringing it home, inviting all the friends we meet out on the road back to our neck of the woods to rip through the mountains and check out Yellowstone and Devil's Tower. <laughs> so much fun on the Devil Stone trip. I get to ride it with my kid and he is having a blast. I just know it because that's what I tell him. Yeah, that's how I say it. It's uh, very exciting, it's very fast. I'm glad I got to ride it with you. It's different than riding with the old bikers. <laughs> Ass hurts. <laughs> we were spoiled yesterday with a short ride. 150 miles was it yesterday? Having fun, I haven't been to Yellowstone before, so it's cool. Last year we had everybody in one tent. So last year was like seven people at this spot. Uh, maybe, I mean maybe 12 with everybody that came in, but um, and this year we'll have 60, 70 and we've probably had over 100 riders so far. People ride out from all over, people from Colorado, from Wisconsin, uh, from Utah, all over the place are kind of coming in, and we're just stoked. Overall, epic trip. That was the uh, part I think the biggest takeaway I have from this trip is not just um, America's awesome, uh, the riding was spectacular, was uh, good people, man, and such a positive attitude about out of this crew. I think maybe being in the motorcycle industry and being around for a long time, you can get kind of jaded, and uh, it's good to see like a new, fresh attitude from the Go Fast, Don't Die crew. A new old friends is the saying that I kept hearing use, and it's very correct. In the future, whether six people come and it's just our buddies, or there are 600 people, we'll just keep running the same route and checking out Wyoming. by a bear or hit by a geyser. <laughs> <laughs>